Good day, Kabaro. Good day, guys. This is our fuel oil purifier made by Swedish company Alpha Laval. This is Steve Engineer Elrich. But before we proceed to our video, please click the like, share, and follow button of our Facebook and YouTube channel. Purifier is used to separate water, solid carbons, and impurities like aluminum silicon present in fuel oil that will cause harmful effect in our diesel engines. Our purifier Alphalabal uses EPC50 or Electronic Power Control Series 50 module that operates the purifier safety alarm system, operation system, and monitoring system in automatic mode. EPC50 have two parts of module that work together the OP or operational amplifier front module and the IO or input output located inside the control panel. This is the OP front module where we can see and adjust the settings parameters of purifier. This one is IO module that receives the input signal from purifier and convert to output display in OP module. We have a trouble here in number 2 FO purifier EPC50 or front module. The purifier stops in operations due to communication loss from OP front module. As can you see, the display disappears and blink when I press the enter button. With this kind of trouble, we cannot operate the purifier and we need to replace it by new EPC50 or front module. Since we have new spur on board, we will replace it by new one. This is the second time that I have a trouble on this module. The first one is with our fuel oil system. According to Alphalabal technician that I talked last April 2022 dry docking, this module is irreparable and we have to request new spurs. This is the module that we replaced. By the way, spare module can be used in fuel oil system, LO and FO purifier. Just pull out this paper label and replace it with the label of LO purifier or fuel oil system. After we install new spare APC50 OP front module, we have to input the program parameters that we can found in Alphalabal manual. These are the procedure in programming the new EPC module. Number 1, shut off the power at the side of IO board. Number 2, hold out this two leg recall transmitter and transfer the legs on the upper side. Recall and reboot switches are side by side to each other. We have to choose recall for programming and reboot if you want to reboot the system. This have three pin holes, upper, middle, and lower. In normal operations, two legs are in middle and lower pin holes. We have to put this two leg recall transmitter in middle and upper pin holes for reprogram. Number 3, on the power. Number 4, st start to reprogram as per manual parameters data. Set your parameters in OP front module. Number 5, press enter button. Press plus button if you want to escape the parameters and press enter until it blinks when you want to change the parameters. Do it until you reach the last part. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay.
plus button if you want to execute the changes. After the execution is completed, the system will ask for parameter and safety devices check. Press plus button until completed at the end part. All safety devices will be tested by the system, so don't worry if you have purifier alarms. Now there's nothing here for me. I gotta go, I fly away to a new space. You know, I don't appreciate the change. When you reach the end test, that is the last part. Press both plus and minus button for exit. Now shut off the power again. Hold out the two leg transmitter and transfer the legs in the middle and lower pinhole for normal operations. Power on and now our unit is in standby mode. If you want to change the process parameters like time or sludging, temperatures, etc. then press enter. Start to change the parameters. That's all Kabaro. I hope that you learned something on this video. Please like, share, and follow my Facebook and YouTube channel. This is Chief Engineer Elrich. God bless and keep safe. Grow,